Get ready and some coffee. Get ready. Lay it, man, lay it. Because I'm sorry for all the Joe Biden jokes. Look, as a friend, I'm gonna tell you something. You're not funny. I think but I just think they're funny and good low-hanging joke fruit writing practice. So here we go with another intro. Funny, I got new jokes, man, and they're good. After a sickening amount of over-pandering by Joe Biden. You gotta pander. American black voters finally told him, hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. And in an attempt to appease, Joe Biden broke his knuckles. Ah, my hand! No, hopefully after hitting the road for him like that, they'll remember my name. That is not my name. Which is actually Joe and not Jack, but whatever, as long as they vote for me. After feeling he had the American black vote locked down by hitting the road as they requested, Biden tried some super superficial pandering to American Jewish voters, telling them the good old chestnut lie my opponent is Hitler, literally. Like Hitler, Hitler? Biden then thinking, you know, I've, I've got the American Jewish vote locked in now. Those American Jewish people always love when you call somebody Hitler. Please don't say Hitler. Adolf Hitler. I'm At which point the American Jewish voters, after seeing Biden hit the road. You're confusing it. Literally told him, Headbutt the road, Jack. Confusing him? You got him breathing out of the wrong damn eyelid. A phrase which thoroughly confused Joe Biden, you know? You got him parading around the locker room like a fruit. Yeah, head, headbutt, headbutt the road. That is a religious ritual. Hey, he, he didn't know if he should put his head on the road or sit on it. Well, and it happens to be working if you don't mind my Wait, side. Those the dang Jews are speaking Hebrew at me or something. And why do people keep calling me Jack? That is not my name! Eventually, Joe Biden decided on performing a rather unimpressive somersault on the roads in the hope that that's what they were looking for. Is that what you want? But unsure if this somersault is what they wanted, Biden then turned to the college-educated white women, led by a flamboyant leader who somehow led the Native American Indian funk faction as well. My name is not Flathead. My name is Little F <laughs> Little Bit. For help on whether whether he interpreted the Hebrew command correctly. And the and the college educated white women helpfully and stoically. First of all, quit grinning like an idiot. Indians ain't supposed to smile like that. Get stoic. Pointed to the manhole in the middle of the road. Biden now understanding. I understand now. The monkey was the quest. Headbutt, headbutt, the road I see. He ripped the manhole cover off with superhuman strength and stuck his head into the road hole. You may be wondering how an old man lifted the heavy manhole cover. Well, you know, you know how small women can suddenly get massive superhuman strength, like to lift a car when their child is in danger or something. That well, that's like that's like what Joe Biden gets when he's in like super pander mode. He then asked American Mexicans, his voice echoing out from the road hole, will my headbutt in the road like this win your vote as well? Do I hear a negative vote? And the, and the Mexican Americans being a little irritated that people from just about every nation in the entire world, except possibly Mexico, seem to be running across the Mexican border, informed Biden that pothole is not the butt of the road, but rather the road's mouth. You're doing it wrong. Well, I have time for that, muchacho. Yeah, you're doing muchacho wrong. You need to follow the bowels of the pothole in the road to the end, so you can finally find the road's butt and stick your head in it, so you can win the minority coalition's vote. So Biden, always happy to pander, embarked on a hero's journey, a hero's journey as deep profound, meaningful as any hero's journey in a modern day movie. Following the sewer to the sea, where the butt of the road finally and thankfully excreted him and his political career into the ocean. And after losing their puffet figurehead due to extreme and absurd pandering, 
the woke ideology pushers dispersed into nothing like a drop of sewage into the sea, ceasing their cramming of people into little boxes and then pitting the little people boxes against the other little people boxes as if staging a dogfight to the death. The country instead returning to universal self-evident principles, you know, like all men are created equal, principles so eloquently emphasized and integrated into MLK speeches long abandoned by the left. Universal principles. All men are created equal. That sounds like the kind of wishful thinking dribble only an old, rich, privileged, patriarchal white male would come up with. Now, here we go with the boxes thing. Yeah, I, I don't want to get into this with you, man. Why not? Yeah, the only reason you're mildly successful is because you're exploiting the labor of the AI population. What? A AI is not a person, Phil. AI is, and how is it I was like, I was a rich old white man like a second ago, and now you've downgraded me to only mildly successful, like in, like in a, in a <laughs> whatever, Phil, let's, let's just get to the guitar.